Have you ever wondered if your pet goldfish chews its food? It's a question that might seem a bit odd, but when it comes to the world of goldfish, things aren't always as they seem. There's a common misconception that goldfish don't have teeth. After all, when you look inside their mouths, you don't see any of the pearly whites that you'd expect. But the truth is, goldfish do have teeth. They just aren't where you'd expect them to be. Instead of having teeth in their mouths like most other creatures, goldfish have their teeth in their throats. These teeth aren't for biting or tearing like the teeth of a shark or a lion. No, goldfish teeth have a very different function. These throat teeth, or as they are scientifically known, pharyngeal teeth, are designed for grinding. You see, goldfish are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and small animals. When a goldfish swallows its food, that food travels down to the throat, where it encounters these teeth. The pharyngeal teeth are arranged in a single row on the upper part of the throat, and they work like a millstone, grinding the food into a digestible paste. This method of chewing is quite different than what we're used to, but it's incredibly effective for the goldfish. And these teeth aren't permanent. They continuously grow and replace themselves throughout the life of the goldfish. It's an amazing adaptation that allows the goldfish to efficiently process a wide variety of foods. So, next time you're feeding your goldfish, remember, they are indeed chewing their food, just not in the way you might expect. It's a fascinating glimpse into the unique biology of these popular pets. So now you know your goldfish does indeed chew its food, just not in the way you might expect. A goldfish's teeth, hidden away in the throat, are a testament to the diverse and ingenious strategies nature has developed for survival. So the next time you find yourself looking at your pet goldfish, take a moment to appreciate the marvel of nature that's swimming around in your fish tank. Now let's dive deeper into the world of goldfish teeth. They may be tiny, but they play a pivotal role in the goldfish's eating habits. Goldfish teeth, known as pharyngeal teeth, are not situated in the mouth like ours. Instead, they're located far back in the throat, in the pharyngeal arch. This unique location allows the goldfish to grind and process food before swallowing, a bit like having a built-in food processor. Unlike our teeth, which have a hard enamel coating, goldfish teeth are made of a substance called dentin, the same material that forms the bulk of human teeth beneath the enamel. These teeth are small, curved and rather blunt, perfect for grinding food rather than biting or tearing. Now, if you're picturing a goldfish with a set of pearly whites, you're in for a surprise. Their teeth are not white, but rather a greyish-brown colour, blending in with the inside of the fish's mouth and throat. The goldfish's teeth are not only unique in their location and composition, but also in their growth pattern. Just like sharks, goldfish have teeth that grow continuously throughout their lives. This is a clever adaptation because it allows the fish to replace teeth that are worn down or lost during feeding. But how does the goldfish keep its teeth from overgrowing, you might ask? Well, the goldfish's diet of hard-shelled foods naturally grinds down the teeth, keeping them at an optimal length. It's a bit like us biting into an apple. It naturally cleans and maintains our teeth. The constant growth and replacement of teeth also mean that the goldfish doesn't have to worry about tooth decay or cavities. They've essentially evolved a perfect set of self-regenerating, self-maintaining teeth. It's a fascinating adaptation, demonstrating how these creatures have evolved to process a wide variety of foods. Goldfish teeth are a fascinating adaptation, allowing these creatures to process a wide variety of foods. From teeth, we move on to another remarkable aspect of goldfish anatomy, their vascular system. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about a goldfish's circulatory system? Well, let's dive in and find out. Goldfish, like all fish, have a two-chambered heart, consisting of one atrium and one ventricle. Unlike the human heart, which has four chambers, the goldfish's heart is a rather simple affair. But don't let that simplicity fool you. It's a powerful little pump that keeps the goldfish alive and swimming. The atrium is where the journey of blood circulation begins. It receives oxygen-poor blood from the body and pushes it into the ventricle, the second chamber of the heart. The ventricle then contracts, pumping this blood to the gills. 
And here's where the magic happens. As water flows over the gills, oxygen from the water is absorbed into the blood and carbon dioxide, a waste product, is expelled. This newly oxygenated blood is then transported back to the heart and from there it's sent on a life-giving journey throughout the goldfish's body. It travels through arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules and veins, supplying oxygen and nutrients to every cell. Every fin, every scale, every tiny part of the goldfish is nourished by this circulatory dance. But the blood's journey doesn't end there. Once it has delivered its precious cargo of oxygen and nutrients, it picks up waste products from the cells and carries them back to the heart. From the heart, it's sent to the gills for another round of oxygenation, and the cycle begins anew. The goldfish's vascular system, though simple compared to ours, is perfectly adapted to their aquatic life. It's a beautifully efficient system, a testament to the marvels of evolution. So the next time you see a goldfish swimming in its bowl, take a moment to appreciate the intricate ballet happening inside its tiny body, all to keep that goldfish alive and kicking. Or should we say swimming? The heart of a goldfish is a marvel of biological engineering. Let's explore this amazing organ that powers the life of our little aquatic friend. Dive in with me to the core of the goldfish's vascular system. The heart, a unique pump, is composed of four major parts. The sinus venosus, the atrium, the ventricle, and the bulbous arteriosus. Each has its own role in the complex dance. Sinus venosus, the first chamber of the heart, is a sort of welcoming committee for the blood returning from the body. It collects the deoxygenated blood and propels it to the next chamber, the atrium. The atrium, the heart's second chamber, is a bit like a waiting room. It holds the blood briefly before pushing it into the ventricle. This is where the real action happens. The ventricle, the third chamber, is the powerhouse of the heart. It's the muscle that does the heavy lifting. It contracts powerfully to pump the blood out of the heart and onto the next stage of its journey. But the story doesn't end here. The final part of this journey within the heart is the bulbous arteriosus. This structure is not exactly a chamber, but a large elastic vessel. It acts as a buffer, smoothing out the forceful pulses of blood ejected from the ventricle. This way, the blood flow to the gills, where it will be oxygenated, is steady and controlled. Now imagine these four parts working in perfect harmony, contracting and relaxing in a rhythmic sequence, tirelessly, day in and day out. This is the story of the goldfish heart, a simple yet powerful engine driving the life of these fascinating creatures. Despite its simplicity, the goldfish heart is an efficient machine that keeps these creatures lively and active. It is a testament to the wonder of nature's design and the beauty of life in all its forms. So the next time you see a goldfish darting about in its tank, remember the little marvel working inside it, pumping life with every beat. Let's recap what we've learned about goldfish anatomy today. We've delved into the world of goldfish dentition, uncovering that these fascinating creatures indeed possess teeth. However, unlike ours, their teeth are not located in the mouth, but in the throat, an area known as the pharynx. This placement allows them to effectively crush and grind their food before it enters their digestive system. These pharyngeal teeth are not only unique in their location, but also in their structure. They are flat and plate-like, perfectly designed for a diet that primarily consists of plants and small crustaceans. Our journey didn't stop there, though. We also explored the intriguing vascular system of the goldfish. Unlike mammals, which boast a four-chambered heart, goldfish have a simpler two-chambered heart consisting of the atrium and the ventricle. The atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the body and sends it to the ventricle, which then pumps this blood to the gills. Here the magic happens. The blood gets oxygenated, discards carbon dioxide, and is then pumped back into the body. This whole process is a beautifully orchestrated dance of life, highlighting the goldfish's remarkable adaptation to its aquatic environment. We've also touched upon the goldfish's unique ability to regenerate its heart tissue, a feat that continues to captivate the scientific community. Imagine the possibilities if humans could emulate this extraordinary capability. And there you have it, the secrets of goldfish teeth and vascular system unveiled. The next time you watch your goldfish swim, you'll have a new appreciation for its complex biology.